Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Where are you coming from, sir? Hawaii. Hawaii? Yeah. So you come all the way out here for this? I wouldn't miss it. <laughs> wouldn't miss it. Could state your rank, your full name, and the command that you come from. Okay, I'm Colonel Stacy L. Taylor, Assistant Chief of Staff G1 at Marine Forces Pacific, Hawaii. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> uh, could you please spell your full name, sir? S T A C E Y L Taylor. T A Y L O R. Excellent. That's just making sure that we have it correct for our caption. Oh, awesome. So, how long have you been in the Marine Corps, sir? I've been in the Marine Corps for 25 and a half years. Excellent. And why did you choose to join the Marine Corps, sir? Specifically, Brigadier General Jerry Carter. I met him when I was a midshipman, and that inspired me to become a Marine. Excellent. Were you a midshipman at Morehouse College, sir? I, I was. What, when you met him, where was he at? Uh, was okay. he a senior? Or what? Uh, yeah, so I, I was a freshman, uh, fourth class midshipman. But at the time, it was midshipman second class, uh, Jerry Carter. So he was about two years ahead of me. And he was my, uh, the first trainer that I had at, at the ROTC program there at Morehouse College. If you could describe him as he was back then. Wow, that, awesome. That, if I had to put it simply, he was just awesome. So he was a very squared away gentleman. He cared, he was very sharp, and everything he did was just top notch. And if I were describing to anyone, will be a Michael Jordan. He was the Michael Jordan of our NROTC unit. He made everyone around him better. Excellent. So, in a sense, he was in a leadership position uh, above you, sir. But yeah, he was a senior. He was a senior midshipman. Uh, by the time school started, he was our drill team commander, and I was a member on the drill team. So the question I gotta ask with that, was there any ever a time where you two might may have butted heads or where he might have had to square you away? Oh, that was often times he had to square me away. Uh, particularly as a, as a member of the drill team, he was trying to instill discipline in the drill team so that we can go out and compete. So anytime, uh, as a matter of fact, it was the first time I ever drilled with a weapon. And he taught us how to drill with a weapon. He made sure that the entire team was together, uh, and when we were not together, he had a way of disciplining us uh, through the way he talked to us, through the way he made us practice over and over in order to make sure that we became better. Would you mind sharing that with us, or is that a trade secret? Uh, not, not much of a secret. I mean, he's, he, he was just very uh, dedicated. He wanted to be the best at whatever he did, whatever he was a part of. So we just learned to do things over and over and over uh, took whatever time was needed until we got it right. As a matter of fact, uh, Brigadier General Carter made sure we trained until we couldn't get it wrong. Excellent, excellent. When you graduated and you moved on in commission as a Marine Corps officer, uh, were you able to keep in touch with General Carter? Yeah, absolutely. Me and uh, Brigadier General Carter has stayed in contact. My children call him uncle. His children call me uncle. Uh, he always contact, stayed in contact just to see how things were going, uh, to make sure that we were progressing well. I mean, he didn't give up his Michael Jordan duties uh, after we left college. He ensured that we were still getting better every day. Excellent. Since that time, have your paths ever uh, intersected? Well, well, our paths never dissected. Uh, it, uh, Brigadier General Carl, no matter what he's done. I mean, you know he's been busy in his career. He always always made time for friends. One thing that stands out to me is I emailed Brigadier General Carter about a year or so ago. I didn't get a response from him in email until I got a phone call. And he said, Stacy, I don't email my friends. I call them. That's the kind of person Brigadier General Carter is. Fast forward to here today, you flew all the way out from Hawaii to see this. How do you feel about him getting the hands of the rank of general? I couldn't feel better. Not only me, I left my family in Hawaii at the first week of school, but my wife thought it was important enough for me to fly to be here for this promotion. Because it doesn't just, it's not just big for the Carter family, it's big for our family, it's big for the Morehouse NROTC family. Uh, Brigadier General Carter will be the first Marine General out of our unit 
Uh, so he, he's definitely a trailblazer for us. So uh, this is a, something that I could not miss. Excellent. So one question I've asked everyone is, how do you feel about seeing Mr. Braxton, Master Gunner, starting retired, original Moffer Point Marine, and the rank of general on his call? But well, that just brings me back to the Morehouse unit in itself. It's a, a historical black university. Uh, not many black officers in the Marine Corps. One thing that we do understand, particularly coming out of Morehouse and ROTC, is uh, men like uh, the Master Gunner Sergeant that enabled us to wear this uniform, to wear this rank. We stand on their shoulders. So we're in, you know, we, we love serving our country, and it's the sacrifices that they made which enables us to serve in the capacity that we do today. Sir, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Uh, that is it. We're, we're just a happy family at Mohawk's NROTC. Excellent. Appreciate it, sir. 